Our research and negotiation skills tells us that the most difficult person to negotiate with is a bully, or as we affectionately refer to in our book, the only negotiating guide you'll ever need, a shark. Our research tells us that when most people get into the presence of a bully or a shark, a yeller, a screamer, a fist pounder, an in-your-face person, most people who grew up in a home where there wasn't aggression or swearing, they only have one goal, and that's to get away from this bully or shark. But what's interesting in negotiations is the way they want to get away is by giving in to get out. Giving in to a shark is absolutely the worst thing that you can do. We recommend getting closer to a shark. Don't you ever back away from a shark. We've designed three great strategies to deal with a shark or a bully. Strategy number one is the next time you get into the presence of a bully or a shark, we want you to take a step closer to them and say something like this. John, when you raise your voice, get in my face, and yell, I need you to know it frustrates a lot of people in our organization and on our team. But just between you and me, I need you to know something. I love working with you because you got passion. Passion is what I'm about, and I love it when you bring it on. When you love it and it excites you, then it renders that tactic absolutely useless as a tactic. Tactic number two is the tactic of what we call asking a really great question. Once again, take that step forward and say, John, most people, when they interact with me, don't feel a need to yell or swear or get in my face, but you do. And I was just curious why. Now you have to ask that question as an amiable or as a supporter because if you ask that question as a driver, you know John, most people don't feel a need to yell at me or raise their voice and you do and I was just curious why, then you're going to watch this escalate right there in front of you. It's like that's what they live for. Strategy and tactic number three is what I call asking for it. As John comes into the meeting, you look at him and you say, John, you got to promise me one thing. So I'm not promising you anything. No, John, you got to promise me just one thing. I think you're going to like it. At least once in today's meeting, will you promise me that you're going to blow a gasket? When you ask for it, it renders that strategy or tactic absolutely useless in the negotiation business. As you master these three responses, you're going to learn this. Sharks and bullies have less strategies and tactics in their repertoire, not more. And they have less because those bullying and shark tactics work so well. So what's our homework for you? We want you to go out and find a bully or a shark. Use those three strategies and tactics and have some fun.